Well, welcome back to See Here Love on this fabulous flashback and favorite things Friday with my <laughs> wonderful co-host. That was a little Ooh. like alliteration and fabulous, fantastic, fantabulous. Um, how are y'all doing? Good. Awesome. Yeah? Great. Yeah, so good. It's Friday, Joanna. It's like My what Monday is for Cheryl. Yeah. It's Friday for That's us. Because I I don't work on Fridays. So oh, that's it. So, uh, nice. Friday is a weekday <laughs> that I have. It's mm. like it's like a it's like a special Joanna day. Oh, mm. well, where, like well, the city is still mainly working, but mm. I am not. I like well, so we're gonna call that a new day. <laughs> Joanna day. It's called not yeah, Friday. It's, it's called Joanna, Joanna day. Joanna yeah. Welcome day. to Joanna day yeah. on Welcome. this. Yeah. Flashback Fry, Joanna Friday, Day, Fry, 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 Fry Joe Day. Joe Day. Yeah. I love that. Uh, this has been a great week. I loved having Tim Tang. <laughs> I, love, I always say it that way, Tim Tang, <laughs> on the show, uh, talking about cultural diversity and intercultural yeah. ministries and connection. Uh, thoughts as we, I mean, we've done the week. There's well, we stuff that's been thinking. The, the, I like, know. I, I want to do an hour with I Tim, know. really mm. digging into this, which ultimately I think is a, is a reference to to why people need to get involved in the stuff that they're mm -hmm. doing at Tyndale because right. there's so much to this conversation yeah. Yeah. for us to learn and mm -hmm. to dialogue about mm -hmm. cross-culturally, mm -hmm. even around this table cross-culturally. Oh, absolutely. That, like, this this is just a reminder of that. We can't get into it yeah. on, on air, but mm -hmm. uh, it's huge. Yeah, it was good. Cheryl, how about you? Because there were some moments you're like, ah, oh, ah, oh, aha moments oh. all over the place. Um, he changed my view mm -hmm. as opposed to sort of like, I'm gonna combat racism and I'm gonna break down the wall single-handedly for the rest of my life. Wow. Trying oh, to take that yeah. on. Burden. Woo, it's a burden and yeah. it, it, it's not the way to approach it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, coming from that. this place of I am missing oh, the, so the fullness good. of the kingdom. Wow. And my brothers and sisters are missing the fullness of the kingdom. Wow. So it's more like yeah. I've, I feel sorry for you because you <laughs> yeah. really don't. You're like you're you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, you're right, missing right. out. So it's a whole different. Limited and approach. I, you know, I it's almost like from the very beginning as children, imagine that concept. Like if your parents came and said, you know what, see all these like people that have different skin color, yeah. we're missing out by not being with them. Imagine yeah. that learning from the very beginning and yeah, formative wow. years. That was my childhood. Yeah. See, I like think living, for that I lived cross culturally, and, and seeing, so did you. And yeah, I did. And for, and for me, but. It, it, it shocked me when people would So you would both look. were raised that way that you Oh yeah. Not and I was I was I didn't like it as a kid but I was forced to Yeah. See and, and to mm. hang out with all kinds of people nice. from all, all kinds yeah. of children from all kinds of cultures cuz their parents were wow. visiting yeah. or doing ministry stuff with That's my awesome. parents. Yeah. And it was a struggle at times. Yeah. Yeah. See for us as a missionary kid we, I loved it because, I mean, you know, you had, you know, Maki from Japan. Like, I mean, we had all different kinds of, you know, different cultures engage with our family. It was hard for me when I came to Canada mm. and they looked at me mm. as something different, you know, and come to me and go, yeah. do you speak English? Wow. Like, to my face. And I'm like, um, I grew up in an entirely English-speaking yeah. community yeah. in the Philippines. Yeah. And they're like, is the Philippines China? And I'm like, wow. oh no, what, what's going on here? So <laughs> that was for me very difficult that wow. people saw me immediately by my skin color and assumed right. so many things. And mm -hmm. I'm like, Same. where did that come from? You don't know me, but you're assuming right. that I'm this. Right. That was very mm. difficult. Right. So that conversation was really good and needed with Tim. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, like here, we could go off again. Oh yeah, I know, here we are. And I'm like, oh wait, it's Friday. Spent right. all right. Friday talking yeah. about it. But. Well, to kind of keep in line of education and learning and understanding, um, Flashback Friday, well, Flashback Today, Flashback Joe Day, is all about, <laughs> I know, is about <laughs> looking back at a great school memory. Now, that could be grade school, high school, junior, whatever it is, secondary school, or any even certificate. But I'd love to hear about your Flashback School memory. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's start with you, Abby. Okay. What are your thoughts? Um, well, you know, I'll be straight up honest and say I had a great school experience. Mm -hmm. um, I shout out to Mennonite Educational Institute. Yes. <laughs> oh, the Mennonites. I, I, Christian school. I did. Oh, wow. I okay. Christian I didn't know that. that. I didn't know that. A lot of people will hate on a Christian high school experience, um, but in all honesty, MEI was a great school. Um, and I don't know. It was fun. So this picture is actually of uh, two of my girlfriends and me, uh, Cassie and Renee. Mm -hmm. And we were friends kind of all throughout high school and to this day remain. Cool. Like we send videos to each other mm -hmm. um, mm. probably every week or so uh, with updates about our life. We've w walked through a lot. So this picture, there's a small picture you can see in of us holding and it's actually, that's a picture of us on our grad night. And then okay. this is us maybe 
two, no, just last year actually. So mm -hmm. last year in the same formation, <laughs> holding a picture of us at our grad. So oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, just to, that. Uh, just to honor those girls, they they walked with me through mm -hmm. a lot, and yeah, they were with me through high school, and um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was cool. Good. That's so, awesome. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. Maybe that's what mm. we should do at some point. Yeah. yeah. Picture, a picture <laughs> to a picture to a picture yeah. to a picture. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that to say, I guess my school moment would have been my grad. It was, you know, yeah. it was a celebration of these relationships. So yeah, that's yeah. good. Thanks, mm -hmm. Abby. Yeah. yeah. Cheryl, what about you? Now, this is, I know, you're I like, oh, it. my goodness, Cheryl. I'm like Cheryl. the opposite of yeah. Abby. Um, <laughs> so I, I did really well in school. I was in the gifted program. I've always been really a, a talker. <laughs> really? Shocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. S extremely high marks. But um, but my, I didn't have a great experience mm. in my childhood. So mm. I've, I've blocked a lot of those years out. Um, and I don't have a lot of pictures mm -hmm. to commemorate. Mm -hmm. So for me, mine is a little bit old later. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's at Humber College. I, um, I, I did a turn there. I was studying music before mm -hmm. I went into Bible College and some other things. And, um, and so we're, we're here with all my friends and um, they're just the most talented people I think I've ever met wow. coming together. It was wow. like the best, of, it was like fame. <gasps> I'm gonna fame? live forever. <sighs> uh, we always like go to some song. And you know the we younger people it. are looking at Yeah, they're like, like what, what is fame? I'm like, Sorry. really? I'm with you. It's fine. Oh. Okay. It was just like arts all day long and just cool. uh, really, really brilliant, brilliant people. And yeah. so, you know, yeah. So wow. That's awesome. So do you sing or do you play an instrument Both. as well? Both. Oh, what do you play? A violin. <gasps> I don't really played it in a long time. No, May, both of you. I'm, can I just say violin? Thank you for I love that. Just being honest, yeah. like about yeah. yeah, I love that. I yeah. love that. You know. Some people yeah, had it's an amazing, amazing like, other people didn't. bubblegum yeah. uh, <laughs> memories, and then some were like, ugh. Yeah, school. Yeah, it's exactly. So bad, it's all bad. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks well, for sharing yeah, that. Yeah, I still have like, w I still have those dreams where I think I have to go take a math exam. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I what still that says have about those. You. Huh. I wasn't good at math. That's what it says. <laughs> it's like a nightmare well, for I, Joanna. Yeah, I, uh, those are like stress dreams for me about wow. going back wow. into high school in science and math classes. Yeah. Wow. So, well, on that note, Joanna, what's yours in um, memory of school? You know what? I bring to you today um, four or five-year-old Joanna. Aww. And um, I, um, my, my teacher saw, my, from very early, um, I was sort of identified as a leader in school and church communities and... And so, in this particular moment, I am the conductor of, course of, of, course of, of the band yep. at the oh, Kiwanis yeah. Festival. And oh, so, it's, a, wow. it's I'm in the newspaper because my class um, went to the Kiwanis Festival. And I remember there was this moment that I had to, I had a little baton, baton yeah. Yeah. and yep. there was a very crucial moment for oh. me as the conductor <laughs> that I had to point. <laughs> to the triangle player oh, I love for it. them to play their <laughs> note. Oh, and so I, I was, if I didn't point, <laughs> did he point. would not play. Yeah. That's a big deal. That's so, a lot of writing on that. Yeah. And so that was. So did you do it on the right so time? The question is, did you point? Did you point, point and at the I, right time? You know what? I remember in rehearsal, I pointed and he did not play. <gasps> oh. And I did my job and he didn't. He dropped the ball. He oh. dropped the triangle or whatever. So I'm performing. So but in the performance, did he did. come oh, through? He did, he did oh, come good. through. And, and we got mm. rave reviews by the Kiwanis Festival. <laughs> For that for point. Triangle. Yeah. Ding. And ding. Yeah, That's that a was, good memory. I like that, that one. Yeah, Kiwanis. That. But notice they didn't let me play an instrument. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, you can conduct. You can wave the stick around. Yeah. <laughs> you probably did that very well, Joanna. <laughs> What's yours, Miss Melinda? Mine, yes. Yeah. So speaking of Tyndale, this is actually a picture of me at Tyndale University and College and Seminary. With our student council, oh. I was the head of missions, oh. believe it or not. Wow. And here is a picture of all of us for student council. So there's the president, which actually is one of my best friends, Paul Morris, who I've known for 28 years. Nice. And there's a number of those people in that picture that are, are my friends today. But this is a picture of us all being really happy. <laughs> which was like after we had finished a student council meeting on how to kind of run and engage students in many things. So there's the music team, um, yearbook, uh, president, vice president, then the missions committee, and there's a whole bunch of us there, and we're all like hugging and stuff. And, and mm. Tindo was such a, you know, I say this, you know, as, as far as with, with school, there's that part about education, and, I, that's, and academics, and that's important. But for my experience at Tyndale, I was in a sort of in this prodigal daughter time in my life, mm. and Paul actually said, "I think you need to come to Bible College just just mm. for a year." Wow. And so in that year, this is my year. It was really great because 
Okay, maybe I slacked a little bit in academics. <laughs> maybe I slept in. But the, the big part for me was these people and other friends of mine embraced yeah. me and all my yeah. brokenness. Yeah. And yeah. it was the community, was community. that actually yeah. changed my trajectory. Right. And my dad will say this. Even though you failed classes, Melinda, they said it was the best use of our money when we oh. supported you yeah. because your life changed because wow. of the people there. Wow. Because they saw beyond this. Yeah. Amazing. broken facade and said we see and love you and, and I learned a lot about Jesus so love it. it was a great memory Amazing. from Tyndale and it yeah. kind of ties in for the week right yeah. so I, I know Kim you're listening in from Nashville uh, what are your thoughts or your great memory of school hey you guys greetings from very warm Nashville but hey it's Friday so who's complaining um, so listen here this was a little bit hard for me because you guys, grade 12, by the time I was in grade 12, that was my 13th school. I'm not even lying. I'm a preacher's kid. We moved a lot. Um, so I was in 13 schools. So trying to think of one memory, because some of my years are a little bit blurry, um, was a little bit tough. But instantly, actually, you guys are all so smart and you have all these great answers. But instantly, my first thing was, well, I really loved my grade 8 graduation dress. That's the depths of me, you guys. That's what you're getting. Um, my mom, and, and I'm telling you, it meant so much to me. My mom made my grade eight graduation dress. I loved it. It was beautiful. It was like satiny cream and had a satin blue like ribbon and I had satin blue shoes. Oh, it was so good. And I do not have a photo of it because guys, let me tell you something. I was in university over 20 years ago. So you can imagine how long ago I was in grade eight. And those photos, I don't know, I think they're in an attic somewhere. They're certainly not on a computer or a phone. Um, so I don't have a picture of me in it, but I have a little picture of Serena in my grade eight graduation dress because she would put it on and just wear it around the house and it's like floating on her and she would twirl in it and everything. I still have that dress, I still have that dress. And that was a significant year too. I actually won an award. I was a straight-A student, but I think I won the citizenship award because I think I was just nice to people. Hey, um, lots of happened in our life that year um, with my dad's job and just different things, but it was a good year. Grade 8 was a good year. We were in uh, Niagara Falls, Ontario, and uh, but that's what you're getting, my grade 8 graduation dress. That's my most vivid memory. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> Kim, thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm. uh, so lovely. What a great memory. Well, as we transition now from our flashback of our great school memory, we are now going to move into our favorite things part of the show. And this, again, going in our theme, is our favorite teacher. Yes. Now, it'll be great to hear, and it'll be nice because I, you know, if, if your teachers are still living, it'll be nice for us to share with them what they yeah. mean. Because I think that's important for us to, you know, to go back to some of our teachers and say, man, you made a difference in our lives. So, I love this, that it's our favorite teacher, Abby. Mm. Who's your favorite teacher? Um, okay, so going back to MEI okay. and uh, my experience there, a lot of the the reason why that experience was so good was due to my PE teachers. Nice. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. So we had, we did not have co-ed PE. Uh, we were separated. And PE for some people? Physical education, right. okay. gym, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Sportsing. Sports. Sports. <laughs> Sports. Sports. Um, it was actually a pretty intense program though like yeah. we did road runs we did the sun run in vancouver which is 10k oh, like wow. things like that it's pretty That's like intense um and so when you get into the older grades your teachers um and of course they're female when you're mm -hmm. in the female class um they pour so much into you mm -hmm. and it's not just about pe um, we do devotions every day. We oh, started wow. that class in the morning, mm. uh, and these women. So shout out to um, there's a few of them. Um, <laughs> the picture I have here is of Marie Grimm and her children, um, because Marie was one of um, my first PE teachers at MEI. She also taught my sister, and she just really loved on us and invested into us. Mm. Um, and I actually nannied her kids for a little bit, so. Um, that's why I chose this picture. I stole it off your Facebook. Hope that's okay, Mrs. Grimm. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Stalker. along with yeah. yeah, along with Mrs. Grimm, it's um, Kristen Meindertsma and Melissa Rogers, and all of these ladies just they poured into all of us, yeah. and even nice. to this day, they yeah. still support me. That's um, cool. Nice. Yeah, Mel Rogers and I worked together a little bit after, and. Um, Kristen Meindertsma has written me on mm -hmm. Facebook, encouraged me. Like, after the fact, this is 10 years later, yeah, right? Amazing. So, yeah, just you ladies are amazing. Oh, that's nice. awesome. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Sha, what about you, your yes. teacher? Oh man, I, that's that's an easy one for me. <laughs> um, so George's Henry Academy, shout out George's Henry. Woo. Uh, Mrs. Fields. So mm. Mrs. Fields was my music teacher. Okay. And um, single-handedly ignited every artistic mm. creative gift in me. Wow. Um, she made me the best violin player in that school. Wow. I ended up playing, uh, doing, I actually went to violin summer camp. Oh. Really? Yeah. There's a violin summer there camp? Is. It's <laughs> sponsored awesome. by TSYO, Toronto Symphony Youth or Orchestra. Okay. Uh, I, pl I, was, I made second violin there, but I was first violin in my school, mm -hmm. and I was a uh, concert mistress for uh, the last two years. And oh. that's you stand and you, wow. yeah, you're the last oh. to ride. <laughs> you. you do the tuning. Oh, and really? You tune with everybody. <laughs> yeah, so. Wow, wow. The concert My mistress. life is, okay. like, my, is cool, my coolness just went down. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> We're all like, okay. I did youth that's, orchestras. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So in my garage yeah. is my violin with okay. my little Garfield sticker in it. Do you remember Garfield? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I loved Garfield. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, shout out to those, to just just to those teachers that ignite. Yeah. yeah. And 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 the fire the flame. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Cheryl. It's great. Yeah. And again, I want to hear the violin at some point. <laughs> it's very jo rusty. Yeah, Joanna, your teacher. Yeah, I, I've had a lot of. Good and bad teachers. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so the problem is I'm not great at remembering them. <laughs> um, so I have to go really recent, um, especially if I want to find a photo of them. So um, when I when I did my master's in the last few years, I had a prof. Her name is Judy Paulson. Doctor, I think she's a Reverend Canon Doctor oh, okay. Judy Paulson. Wow. Whoa. Wow. And, um, and she's, she teaches in evangelism. And um, I mean, we just really connected. I was studying at an Anglican seminary, and mm -hmm. as more of an evangelical, the Anglican seminary it felt like a bit of a fish out of water situation for mm -hmm. me. Culture, it was cross cultural in many ways. Mm -hmm. And um, she helped me kind of translate and bridge between those two worlds, mm -hmm. between my evangelical experience and the Anglican experience. And just, she was was dynamic and fun and engaging. Wow. I did my thesis work under her. Wow. And now I work with her on what's called the, the Wycliffe Institute of Evangelism, mm -hmm. which is helping Great. mainline churches, United, Anglican, Protest, uh, Presbyterian mainly, mm -hmm. um, working on how to do evangelism in the mainline church of Canada. So I'm a consultant now to that. Nice. And, and I'm doing that because nice. of my relationship with her, ultimately. Fantastic. I want to work Amazing. with her. Yeah. And Amazing. she's someone I want to continue to learn from and, yeah. and uh, just be inspi inspired by as a yeah. woman in ministry. So, Beautiful, yeah. amazing, so diverse yeah. here. Kim, I know you're enjoying our conversation around the table in Nashville. Um, why don't you share about your favorite teacher? <laughs> I love you girls. Um, so again, I was in 13 schools mm -hmm. before I ever uh, left grade 12, you know? So, but there are a couple teachers that have always been, you know, like, just in my heart. Uh, one is Mr. David Lake. He was at my school, um, NCC in Fort Erie, and it was a Christian school, high school. I think I was there in grade nine and maybe 10. And he, um, he was just awesome. I don't even remember what he taught, maybe geography, <laughs> but he just cared beyond just what we, what we were doing in class for everyone. He just was a great person and always was like, how you doing? How are things going? Everything okay? Like, and I even think that I had a test once. Actually, I know it. Where I didn't even know what I was writing about, but I wrote. And I even think on it, he wrote, oh, great shoveling job, Kim. And like, he just was so amazing and just a very, very dear person to my heart. I got to tell you, Mr. David Lake. Oh. And then I had another high school teacher in a totally different city, Kitchener, Ontario. And he, um, Mr. Joe King. Like, isn't that the greatest name, Mr. Joe King? I think he was my math teacher. I don't even remember. But what I remember about Mr. King is that he was my radio teacher. We had a radio station at this high school, and that changed everything for me. I loved it. He let me sit in that studio and just learn hands-on. He would say, put the book down and just go in and do it. I voiced every commercial that I could. I did the school announcements when they would let me. Like, I loved the radio station, and it's all because of Mr. King. And the favorite phrase he said had was, remember, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. I'll never forget it. It's amazing how influential, right, amazing teachers are in your life and how they shape you for what you do in the future. But, uh, yeah, so Mr. Legg, 
and, and Mr. King. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Thanks, Kim. What awesome. a great memory. I yeah, love that. That's good. Well, my picture is of Miss Barbara Cummings, or Ms. Sorry, Ms. Barbara Cummings. Uh, she was my teacher in grade one and two at Faith Academy in the Philippines. And this is a picture of me sitting on her lap. Um, and, and here's what I love about Barbara Cummings. So she's Canadian, mm -hmm. and she came over as a teacher to the Philippines on her own. And when I was, you know, through my adoption and coming to school, uh, she was just like one of those women who, as a young girl, I just knew there was safety. Mm -hmm. And when I wanted to, even then, when I was trying to figure out, you know, me being Canadian and me being Filipino, she just celebrated me as both, but also very strong on being Canadian. And so we would have all of these, like, celebrate the different countries. And she, I, I believe she told me the story where the Filipino, the Philippine flag came up, and everyone's like, Melinda! And I'm like, grade one, go, go! And I was like, they're like, go! And I'm like, <laughs> I'm waiting for the Canadian flag Aww. because I'm Canadian. And then as soon as the Canadian flag came up, I was the first one to run. And there I am, the only brown kid right in the front, waving my Canadian flag while all these, you know, white Caucasian kids behind me are waving their flag. And I'm very proud to be Canadian. And mm -hmm. what Miss Cummings instilled is really that, yes, that love of, of, you know, Canada and being Canadian, but I think just she also was so kind yeah. and shared a lot about, you know, with Jesus and his kindness and just her personality, humility, mm. um, she loved us all. If there's, yeah. you know those kinds of people where she walks in the room and you knew that she really loved being a teacher and yeah. loved her students. Right. Like yeah, she was committed that. to them. It wasn't like she came in angry, like, oh my goodness, it's so early. It was like, yeah. she loved us all, big hugs and great care. Yeah. And what's amazing is 38 years later, she writes me on Facebook. Wow. She's so proud of the show. Wow. She's been, she's written me notes about how proud she has been of me for 38 years. Aww. Years yeah, and nice. so that's an amazing teacher to kind of you know be on my journey with Shout me. Out to that, yeah, I know, I was just say, <laughs> right? That's, that's what you guys do. Like yeah. you know, they, I know. But they inspire and they change mm -hmm. like a life to change oh, other yeah. lives. It's rippling. It's yeah. amazing. I think that's a good encouragement mm -hmm. today, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a teacher and you're feeling really discouraged yeah. and your kids are driving you crazy, yeah. we just want to affirm to <laughs> you that you're doing great work, mm -hmm. you're needed, and we yeah. so appreciate you. Yeah. Look at the lives here that have been changed because of yeah. great yeah. teachers like yeah. you. So thank you. Well, ladies, thank you for sharing, yeah. being with, being together on Friday. That's the end of the week. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah. be fun to check your Insta and uh, Facebook to see what you're all up to. Because <laughs> I do do that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we, I look. So thanks. And then we're going to be all together back together on Monday. Monday! And again, <laughs> our Monday girl, Friday Joe, mm -hmm. Monday Cheryl. I'll be Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> and so when like, and I'm like, I know. It's like, what is going on? But thank you to you viewers uh, for joining us in our craziness and in our seriousness and our tears and all kinds of things. Thanks for just journeying with us right from the beginning. Some yeah. of you have started with us March 8 and you have connected on social media and through notes about just how much you love the show and and your support and prayers. I have yeah. loved receiving. Thank we've so loved much. yeah, we've loved yeah. receiving yeah. your notes about how you've prayed for us, you're praying yeah. for us, that you've shared our shows with non-Christian friends and and people from all over the world. So yeah. we just want to thank you so yeah, much thanks. for doing that. And uh, again, uh, make sure that you share our show and uh, yeah, keep praying for us. And also, if you feel compelled um, it would be great, too, that we really need financial support mm -hmm. yeah. from you. There have been a number of people who have given generously to the show, but here's the deal. Uh, we can't put on a show like this without financial donations. Yeah. This is this is a show that is supported by partners and sponsors that we've highlighted here on See Here Love, but it's also because of donors who've supported as well. So if you feel compelled, just go onto our website. There's a big donate button. Click on there, and it will show you what to do. Anyway, all that to say, thanks for being with us. Thank you, ladies, for hanging out. And we will see Always. you on Monday. Right, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye.